the Raptor Palace is just a big blue barn in front of my house. As you can see, my house is here on the left. And on the right here is the Raptor Palace. Um, I built it, had it built, what, this is three years ago this, this summer. Uh-huh. Um, because I needed a place, a safe place to house my birds and a place where it was healthy for them. Um, so we built, it's basically the equivalent of a horse barn. And in here I have seven different birds. We're going to probably hear the chattering of Phineas. When he hears me, he goes nuts because he's like, feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me. So, <laughs> but we'll see. As of right now, I have seven birds. I have five owls, two Eurasian eagle owls, a brother and a sister. Eurasian eagle owls are Europe and Asia's equivalent of the great horned owl. Mm -hmm. But these guys are the largest owls in the world. And when you see Millie, she's, gin she's ginormous. And then I have Tessie. Tessie's the old lady of the bunch. She's 11 years old. She's my barn owl. Mm -hmm. And then at the end is Mortimer, my Harris hawk. Mortimer and Morley I got the same time, thus the names that are similar. And they're both five years old. Phineas is my falcon. He's a hybrid jeer saker hybrid falcon. He's, what, three years old this year? And then I have two um, uh, rescue screech owls, um, Pugsley and Wednesday. Um, and Pugsley is a gray phase eastern screech, and Wednesday is a red phase eastern screech. And if you want, we'll feed the birds. Let's feed the they're, birds. They're hungry. Come on, Morley. We'll see more like, come on now. Sometimes the ear comes. There you go, buddy. There you go. Hi, Morley. How you doing, Morley? Hey, buddy. And you hear him, ooh, he's always talking to me. And that rap you hear, that's Millie, and that's her begging for food. They say different things when they're talking to you. Sometimes when there are other people around, she gets a little shy. <clears throat> but Tessie is a common barn owl. Barn owls are the most widespread of all. The owls are found in every continent in the world except for Antarctica, um, where Eurasian eagle owls are found throughout Europe and Asia, a little bit of Africa. Millie's going to come land right here. Hey, baby. There you go. All right, you got one. Okay. All right. I got another one for you. Yeah, eat that one. There you go. You're going to see considerably bigger. All right, get that. Considerably bigger, a little bit more snotty. Because the females are the ones who are the, the enforcers. They want to be big and tough and strong and be a, a force to be reckoned with in case somebody uninvited shows up at the nest. Want one more? She's a brute, isn't she? A beautiful one, for sure. Yeah. All right, Millie. So you, get her. you ready, Mel? Go get it. Man. The two screech owls, Pugsley and Wednesday, are in here, and they're not going to fly to me because they are more. But why don't you? You're welcome to come in, and and you can get a. You can see them over there. Ah, look at those guys. There, and Wednesday does fly, so and when she flies, she's going to be flying, trying to trying to get away from you. Pugsley can't fly. She can't fly. What, now, what happened that came from? You can see her. Both wing. of them got hit by a car. They both came from West Virginia. Pugsley 
has a partially amputated wing, and Wednesday has a uh, detached retina. Poor little thing. Yeah. And you can see where they're a little bit more nervous because they're wild birds in captivity. Come on. There you go. Um, I get the day old chicks to a company down in, in, the, in the Finger Lakes area. And once he starts eating, he'll realize he's got food and he might be a little quieter. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I get my food down in the Finger Lakes there. I'm always looking for, we're always scouring for more sources of food. How you doing? Okay. I'm going to close this side. That's Mortimer. And Mortimer is what kind of? He's a Harris Hawk. And Harris hawks are found in the southwestern part of the country. Come on, Morty. Oh, no. There you go. You can eat. Oh. There you go. Come on back up. There you go. There you go. Oh, boy. You can see he's mantling. He's kind of mantling over his food. They do that to protect their food. And you can see by the uneven tail feathers, he's still molting tail. You can see some feathers. He's in the process of molting, and most of his new feathers are in, mm -hmm. but they're not all in, and it eats up a lot of energy, requires a lot of energy to completely change all your feathers. You know, some birds will prey at six, seven, eight, nine thousand feathers, and that's a lot of energy. Mortimer here is not imprinted on me. You don't imprint Harris's. He has been raised by me. He's bonded to me. I'm his person. But he's not imprinted on me. Um, Phineas is imprinted on me, so Phineas treats me as Popeye. I'm bringing him food, and he's like saying, where's my food? And you can hear the ark, and that's Millie saying, okay, you gave me food, but I'd like a second helping, please. <laughs> yeah. Well, these birds are beautiful, Mark. Yeah. And the building, um, I built it so the outside part you can see it's screened in, it's fresh air, sunlight. They can occupy their brains looking at things um, outside. I gave them some toys and things they can play with inside. I don't know if you saw Millie and Morley both had a stuffed owl um, that they had when they were babies that they grew up with. Um, and then in the winter time when it gets cold, you can see the door, I can shut that off and then I heat the inner part. Well, great. Mark, thank you very much. I know, uh, you know I'm going to be looking forward to this being the beginning of something that's going to be really fantastic. And uh, working with you has always been a pleasure. And, uh, you know, with your ties to the library and, you know, obviously to the community. And, uh, you know, bringing this into the library and bringing the library out to you is very uh, exciting for all of us. Uh, for any of, uh, anybody who has questions for Mark uh, that we can bring to him during uh, the next appearance for when he's reading from his uh, first book, uh, you can email me at w-e-c-k-e-r-t at potsdamlibrary.org. And, uh, well, we look forward to talking to you again, Mark, and, and you know, hearing more about your adventures and uh, bringing this to, uh, to our community. Yeah, well, it was a pleasure having you, and thanks for coming.